Hello students, welcome to the video of 7th General Science. Today's our topic is Effects of Light. In the last year, we learn about the light. So, let's discuss about some properties of light. We know that light always travels in a straight line and light is not visible. And when the light fall on the object, then only that object become visible when only the light fall on the object and light travels at the speed of 3 lakhs kilometer per second now when light fall on the object it become visible but question arises why do we see an object when the light fall on the object we know the property of the light when it fall on the object it reflects suppose consider any source of light and any object when the light fall on the object some of the light reflect from the object and then that light enter into our eyes and only then the object become visible if light does not enter into our eyes then that object does not visible means light should be a reflected light should be enter our eyes to become that object visible now today's uh, topic is the scattering of light most important part of the property of the light that is the scattering of light during sunrise and sunset did you see the different colors in the sky the sky become yellowish, reddish, greenish. So different colors we see in the sky. So why does we see the different colors in the sky? So for that, let's perform a activity. For this activity, we need a laser gun, which is easily available in the market, two glass of water and a white paper pasted on the wall now if we emerge a light of the laser on the glasses then you can see that the light passes through both of the glasses and the path of the light does not visible is not visible through the water the particles of the water are very small it does not reflect the light now um, for the next activity, we add some milk to one of the glasses. Now I am going to add some milk to the second glass and mix it thoroughly so that it mix well. Now again fall the light, laser light on the glasses. Now you can see that in first glass till the path of the light is not visible but in second glass you can see the path of the laser light if we make it in dark then you can easily see that the whole water mixture of water and the milk become reddish and then light fall on the paper means the path of the light is now visible so why does it happen when we milk add the milk then something happens that the path of the light become visible now let's see the reason behind this when we add milk particles of the milk are bigger than the particles of the water and when the light pass through the solution then light fall on the milk particles and it that particles reflect the light scatter the light in all possible direction and due to that the path of the light become visible and this is called the scattering of light air also has different particles of dust gases and water vapor and when the sunlight fall on these particles then they scatter the light and due to that during sunrise and sunset we can see in different color in the sky this is the reason behind why we see the different colors 
in the during the sunlight and sunset now let's understand about the extended source and point source of light first is the point source when the light emerges through a small gap we called it the point source suppose the we can take the example uh, if we put the hole in the cardboard and light pass through it it is the point source and second is the extended source extended source means if you take the uh, led bulb or cfl bulb or a sun these are the extended sources of light now um, let's see about the shadows made by the uh, point sources and extended sources we know the reason of the shadow now let's see about the shadows formed by the point source and extended source for that we need a point source we can take a mobile torch as a point source and when we put the object between the uh, source of light and the screen the image of the object we get is the very sharp dark that is called the umbra and if we replace the point source by the extended source then the shadow we get is a dark at the middle we called it the umbra and fainter at the outer side which is known as the pain umbra this is the start of the pain umbra and this is the umbra now as i told you umbra is a dark shadow and pain umbra is a faint part of the shadow if we use the extended source then we get two types of shadows middle is the dark shadow which is the umbra and outer faint part of the shadow we called it the pain umbra next learn about the eclipses we learn it about eclipses in the geography also there are two types of eclipses solar eclipse and lunar eclipse the reason behind the eclipses is the moon revolves about the earth and earth along with the moon revolves around the sun their orbits of revolution are all different when sun the moon and the earth come in a straight line an eclipse is said to be have taken means only when sun the moon and the earth are in straight line then only the possibility of the eclipses now let's learn about the solar eclipses when the moon comes between the earth and the sun then solar eclipse takes place and the shadow of the moon fall on some part of the earth it seems that the sun is covered by the moon as the shadow of the moon fall in that region and that we call the solar eclipse there are three types of solar eclipse we know it and uh, the solar eclipse takes on the night of new moon the region where umbra is fall total eclipse can be seen and the region where pain umbra is fall there we can see the partial solar eclipse and somewhere it the annular eclipse can be seen next eclipse is the lunar eclipse when earth comes between the sun and the earth and their axis of rotations are in the same plane then the lunar e eclipse takes place the lunar e eclipse takes place on the full moon day now when the shadow of the earth fall on the moon then we can experience a lunar eclipse when the moon is in the umbra of the earth then total eclipse can be seen and when it is in the pain umbra partial lunar eclipse can be seen next topic is the zero shadow day as the name indicate the shadow is zero but actual meaning is it is under our feet the day on which the sun reaches exactly overhead is called the zero shadow day on that day the noon shadow completely disappear 
This event can be seen in the region between Tropic of Cancer 20.5 North and the Tropic of Capricorn 23.50 South. This event occurs in summer on different days in different places in this region.